What's going on guys, Caleb here, Caleb's Property Maintenance. Thank you so very much for coming back for yet another video. All right guys, so today I just wrapped up a 10 yard mulch job and we're gonna be doing a walk around, so stick around. Alright guys, so those of you that uh, sling mulch know exactly how much work this is. This is no joke. Um, I know 10 yards for a residential is a lot, maybe not for commercial, but for residential it's a lot of work. So um, we got it wrapped up, uh, we started yesterday afternoon and then all day today and um, my uh, mom and sister were gracious enough to help me with this one and so for them I will be uh, forever grateful and um, yes for some of you that are wondering they are getting compensated do not worry I'm not that that bad so alright guys let's start right here in the front I will show you guys completely a nice walk around of the whole property and you'll get to see the whole thing so enjoy Oh, if you'd like to. All right, guys, that right there was the uh, right-hand side, front and side yard. Um, if you're looking at the house from the street, now let's uh, take a look around the front of the house here. Let's not forget those two trees right around there. Nicely done. All thanks to my uh, spreaders for sure. I did not do much spreading on this one. But I did have to shovel all 10 yards, so that was no small feat either. <laughs> all right, now moving along to the backyard. Which side should we walk around, guys? The house side? Right here, right there, or the fence side, right there. Hmm. Uh, let's do the let's do the fence side. Let's do the fence side. Nice uh, cherry tree right here. Creeping juniper. Around this uh, angel here in the middle. And this little uh, statue right here. That's my buddy Baxter. Hey Baxter, how are you? How you doing Baxter? Yes, how are you? So good to see you. 
Yeah. How are you? Then underneath, underneath this huge magnolia, I mean this thing is huge, super tall, and also don't forget this huge hydrangea. This hydrangea was actually right there where the statue is, right there. And the customer wanted it transplanted out to here. This would have been, mm, I can't remember exactly when it was, but um, we were not sure that it was gonna survive being the size that it was, but uh, we put some stuff on it to help the roots uh, take root and uh, she just took right off. So they couldn't be happier, I couldn't be happier for them and whatnot. So very, very awesome, neat project to see. Uh, come to fruition and actually uh, actually work so that was awesome then they have some uh, hosta underneath the magnolia coming up not sure what these are called ah sorry for the lighting guys there we go don't know what those are You guys tell me. So keep in mind we're still underneath the huge magnolia. All the way around the edge of the fence here. And uh, up the side. Right to the fence. And then nice, uh, I think that's called a pencil boxwood right there, I'm not sure. Um, right along the house now. And the deck, you guys should recognize that bush if you follow me on Instagram. That bush was like up to the wire and I took it down to there. And around the deck here, got some larger bushes here on the deck. They're starting to bud out, spring is here. And then uh, a ramp for the dog used to go up. And then uh, right here around the uh, screened in porch. Now guys, you may be wondering why I did not do right there in the edge. That is because the downspout empties right there and the, it's like a river running right on down. So we didn't, no sense in just wasting the mulch. Um, that's just gonna run, so. Then up the last side here. The customer actually uh, was talking to me. They want the bushes that are like here, these boxwoods and the pencil down there. Like that. They want that row to keep going along there next to the screened in porch on the side. And then just round it out to the gate. And that's basically it. Um, the customer actually pointed something really. Uh, Close the gates, remember? Customer actually pointed out something really um, interesting and at the same time, um, pretty amazing that they would point this out and that is um, they watch the videos and um, they mentioned to me hey Caleb why don't you do a video talking about how to measure for you know, so you know how much mulch you need 
and that's a great point but guys in all honesty I don't think I've ever measured for mulch what you what we do is we just eyeball it the first time make a guess and it's and if it's a light guess we're better off because we can always go get um, a yard or two in the in the pickup you know what I'm saying so it's much better to be uh, short than too much so we'll get a delivery in the driveway as long as the customer is okay with that and then we will spread that out see how much we need and then just make a guess again from there and usually we come out pretty much good and um, once we know the number then we can get a delivery for the full amount the second time around and there's no problem so I know the customer was like why don't you just why don't you just uh, make a video about how you measure well in all honesty we don't measure um, and I'm sure if we did more mulch um, we might have to especially if it was a lot of open areas um, but the majority of the mulch jobs we do are actually pretty um, dense as far as plants goes so <clears throat> um, you just sort of you can just sort of see it so that's how we do it and if you're wondering um, price wise per yard I'll share that with you guys um, some of you guys may be wondering and I know the customer already knows the price so it's okay um, it's roughly um, depending on this is um, premium natural mulch so I think this is probably triple ground this stuff is really 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 nice quality stuff um, I'll, I'll show you guys a close-up here but um, it's uh, somewhere about 130 a yard so um, you guys can calculate out what 10 yards would cost but um, I feel comfortable with that price I think that's a fair price um, let me know in the comments guys what you guys are getting per yard but that's that's just uh, what we charge here and works out pretty fine so um, anyway guys that's gonna wrap it up for this one thank you so much for watching this walk around I'm sure uh, the customers already told me how nice it's looked and um, we weren't even done so I'm sure they'll be very happy with it so thanks so much guys for watching we'll see you in the next one outside have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon